it's really really crazy it's literally two weeks nearly two weeks tomorrow i go to paris and the countdown is begun and it's crazy i just came back from seeing one of my best friends we went for a walk and we chilled and we just spoke about blogging and traveling she kind of wants to do the same thing but i think she wants to go a bit further maybe australia which would be amazing for her but um it's crazy my leaving do is tomorrow got the night off work got people coming over taking my stuff <laughs> and then all my friends like yeah help yourself to all my stuff just to get rid of it then it will save me from sending it to charity shops but i mean i'll do that with all my leftover stuff anyway but it's just it's just insane before i even decided to go to paris it was like it was a last minute decision and I was not expecting it at all. I went to my dad's for a week away to chill and I did not expect for me to come back with the news telling everyone that I'm moving to Paris. And here I am. So my last two weeks, I'm kind of vlogging it a little bit. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I haven't really done this thing before, but I'm gonna be doing my blog, which has been my dream to do, so. This is exciting stuff. I'm going to take you guys with me for my journey, even the beginning bit. And as you can see, I've got so much to do already. So much to pack, so many people to see, so many things to do. Where do I begin? Any, oh, I would say any tips, but by the time I probably post this, <laughs> I'd be in Paris by now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please excuse the no makeup. I just got to get used to that. I look right. Well, anyway, today is the day that I'm going to be doing my lumen party. So I'm just in the kitchen making some food. You know the drill. Drink loads, eat loads before you drink. And of course, drink responsibly. And I'm making a stir fry. So I've got my noodles. I've got my tofu, got my munch to beans, I have my broccoli, I've got my little baby sweet corn down there, chili, got my ginger, got my garlic, soy sauce, got a bit of fish sauce going on there, salt of course, and then I've got this, it's just amazing. I'm gonna have real, real trouble saying goodbye to this little spice, it's just a Thai wok, I think I've got it from Tesco's. But it's got all sorts of lemony kind of flavours, all sorts of different flavours going through there. And I just bungled all in there. <laughs> and we're looking at food. So we're having a night, well, we don't really know what the plan is. We don't, not saying it's a night out, but they're coming over for a sleepover, Katie and Sophie. And Maya might make an appearance. <laughs> and we bought some food, we've got some grapes in there, oh, you can see good. the gin, get some cool pictures of those, and then, That know. gin looks amazing. Yeah, we've got this gin. Cool I saw this on the bar and I was like, I've got to try that. <laughs> it's got elephants on it, and there's a map of, you see the map? Where's the map? Oh yeah, that's wicked. Like the bottle's just really cool. Wow. I'm going for that, and I've got cranberries, ginger ale to start me up. And burritos. And burritos. So we are here with Maya. <laughs> Do that again. No. To the music. <laughs> I tell all my hoes, break it up. Break it up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh. <laughs> I was going to start a little intro, but as you're dancing. <laughs> okay, so basically, this is my leave and do. It's, it's been a crazy night. So this is me and Laura and my stepsister. Hey. And my hands are over there, kind of, um, This is so. last night in Cambridge. <laughs> this is Ali. Hello. This is Maggie. Hello. And Vicky, I don't know where she's gone. But Vicky's here too. We're in her room. <laughs> but we're literally, I don't know what the plan is, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go get some food. 
Some drinks. Gonna go out tonight. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Annie's going out tonight. <laughs> you in the vlog. Hey, baby. Oh, no. Dance with me. <laughs> perform, perform. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> you just went to get to the club, then I'll be all done. All right, all right. What are you saying? No more. Call me cocktail. Oh, like oh, oh, what's your cocktail? Should I just taste our iced tea to be honest? No, it's bloody lovely. It's lovely. It's very. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Hello. I can't. Do this for a while. <laughs> what? Chill day. It's not really a chill day. Chilled evening. Pizza. I'm packing. Monday today. She's a um, one and a half day to go. I'll be in London. From London, then Paris on Friday. Of the pub just over here, but in Cambridge, you can see there's like a million different boat houses, and that's better. All right, so I started vlogging, it's probably a little bit weird. People are gonna look at me and think I'm weird, but I started filming all the cows over there. They started getting up, I don't know if you can see them. One of them started getting up and looking at me, they look far away, but they're not, they're a lot closer than what they are. But no, I'm just oh, on my way walking. Last time I ever walking to pick up the boys, so it's gonna be really, really sad that everyone's gonna look at me and give me weird looks because I'm talking to a camera. But so long, Cambridge life. I'm actually about to do my last, the last time I'm ever looking after the boys I've looked after over the past three years, and I'm literally gonna get emotional. They're like family to me. We're gonna make a cake and have a little dinner party, and oh, I'll be crying later. Get my good angle, my good angle, even though I look like crap. I haven't slept last night, um, and today is the day I'm moving out. As you can see, if you probably saw some of my videos before, I don't even know if I've even put it in there because my room looks crap. And my room is now nearly empty. I've literally just got hoovering, and the rest is just in the bin. And then I've got light tone on. You can see I've got. That a big suitcase, which is pretty hefty. Got that one over there. Got my hand luggage and my handbag. And that's literally, I had to downsize again and again and again and again and again. It's hard because you have to fit a whole year. Hang on, I'll turn this around. It's hard because you have to fit a whole year, your whole life, into literally two, two suitcases and a hand luggage. That's like the limit. So I'm even a little bit over the limit for Eurostar. It's just crazy. Crazy! My room is all done. Nearly. Let me just take these French posts and I off. And now it's done. It's done. It's done. So, my room, voila. It's all done. It's hoovered and oh my gosh. Let's take one last look out of my window and say hello. 
New market. <laughs> it's like a disaster movie. So we just knocked that over. Arrived. We're here in half a piece. I'm not camera ready right now. I don't look like a Calvin Klein model. Neither do I. I've got no makeup on. But I'm just going to show you the camera. Look at my hand. So this is our dinner. And it's being made by Chef Connoisseur Bernardo. <laughs> here we have sea bass on a bed of tomatoes and onion seasoned with and marinated with oregano, nutmeg, Ooh. olive oil. Oh, look at that! Good and blah. Basically, I've had to like a crazy time. I missed my train, the taxi driver took a while, and I was like, please let me on. They're like, no, we'll close the gate. But um, it was only like 30 quid, and then I got a, another train. So I was like, so lucky. And then I like, had to strip my bag and search it because it came up and it was like, oh, you got something dodgy in there. Turns out it was just my lighting for my filming. And they're like, ah, oh, it's that, it's popped up. But like, I'm parched, I'm ready, I'm tired, can't wait to get there now.